The image of sheep and their shepherds is an important one in Holy Scripture. Jesus is the good shepherd. He speaks the parable of the lost sheep in Luke 15. Psalm 23 is the best known of all the Psalms. Ezekiel revisits this image a few times as well. The most important one is in chapter 34, where he speaks the word of the Lord against the priesthood for all of their evil ways. One of the reasons for the exile in Babylon was because the priesthood had abandoned the truth of God's word in order to be popular in society. They had not only stopped doing what God had given them to do, they had also erected idols inside the temple of the one true God, and they were holding daily worship services for these false gods. And in some cases, they were literally turning their backs on God's throne to bow down to these false gods. So the Almighty Lord is so infuriated that he causes the exile to come upon them. And Ezekiel eventually reads them the riot act here in chapter 34. But it doesn't stop there. Ezekiel doesn't just blast them with angry words and condemnations, although we may well think they deserve everything they get. And he does lay down the law, that's for sure. God says through Ezekiel that he will hold them accountable and he will judge them. But he also says that he will search for the lost sheep, that he will gather up the strays, that he will strengthen the weak who have been driven away by these evil priests. And there is the promise of the one shepherd to come. He's talking about Jesus, of course, the Son of God who comes to be the good shepherd, to lead his people back to calm, clean water, to green, quiet pastures, to a place of safety and peace, unlike anything they have ever experienced before. So, yes, even in our day, there are shepherds who listen to society over God's word and still lead people astray. But the Lord's word never fails. It remains as true and effective now as it was in the days of Ezekiel. And that voice calls to all the sheep of the Lord's pastures and calls them back to the still waters and to the house of the Lord, where the faithful will dwell forever. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.